You know, guys, we've all been doing this job for a very long time. We've seen a lot, but I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. Law enforcement, they are frustrated, they're alarmed, and we all should be. You think I'm playing, huh? Okay. You think I'm playing, huh? Hit you with this big 4-5 hollow tips, gonna eat your up. This is the story of India Mackey, age 20, a young woman who was gunned down by her young boyfriend Kevin Dixon, age 18, during an argument while they were sitting in a car. Kevin was recorded by India in the last moments of her life capturing how Kevin tried to clean the fingerprints off the bullets before loading them into the gun and then fatally shooting her in the torso with it. This sad incident happened one day after she celebrated her 20th birthday. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. Hello and welcome to Twisted Crimes. Subscribe and hit the like button for more stories. This story will be taking us to the city of Warren, Michigan. Warren is a northern suburb of Detroit, Macomb County, southeastern Michigan. A distinctive point on the Detroit skyline, this collection of skyscrapers is the global headquarters of General Motors and a popular entertainment destination. The city is home to many great attractions, including the Detroit Zoo and Red Oaks Water Park, as well as great shopping and dining options. India Mackey, aged 20, was born on November 18, 1999. On that day according to her mother, a beautiful baby girl named India Elise Mackey was born. Her beautiful brown eyes and precious smile brought much joy into the world of her parent when she was born. India was one of four kids. India was a graduate of Saginaw High School, class of 2017. Early on she learned that her intelligence accompanied by hard work would take her far in life. She was a faithful member of Gideon Christ Community Church. At church, she was an active volunteer for various events and programs, especially in the children and youth ministry. India was full of life and love. She enjoyed acting, singing and having girls night with her sisters and friends. She was the best sister ever and very supportive of her siblings according to her family members. India was always looking out for her siblings making sure they had everything they needed. India would date a young man named Kevin Dixon age 18, they had a nice relationship according to some of her friend judging by what they have seen between the duo even though Kevin had been charged in the past with domestic violence. The couple decided to move in together after dating for a while. They get to do things together, eat, cook and all other stuffs. You see how gonna be here? Hey Tatiana. Love you too, I said your phone on seven percent. Please put your uh, phone on the charger. <laughs> After we eat, I probably bring y'all some for real. After they moved in together. Kevin remained unemployed making India the only one bringing in income. This caused some type of strain between them. Even though she already had a car and gotten an apartment to herself as a result of her hard work, she still was working hard while her lover Kevin wasn't doing as much. Come on, Russell. You try to do none, none. <laughs> Sit down. Period. In that order. Okay. Uh, which one you was at? Right here. 806. How many? No, 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 no. Just One, tell me the thing. Even at that, she would post about how incredible Kevin was as a person. It was getting unbearable seeing Kevin playing video games after she had gone to work all day. She started posting few stuffs about it on social media as well as other ladies being taking his time. It was obvious, there was a problem in paradise. She broke up with him a couple of times but he usually finds his way back into her life. November 18th was India's birthday, she celebrated it with her family and friends, posted on Facebook how she felt about it and loved every bit of it. It's my birthday! 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 It's my birthday. Yes! Yes! Thank you! It's my birthday. It's my birthday. Yes. Yeah. That. At its finest. Okay. Turn 19 and don't know how to act. Yeah. Oh, don't you 
Yes. Hey, Selene, happy birthday. A day after her birthday, November 19, 2019, after about a year of them dating, India and Kevin was in her car parked in the driveway of Kevin's home when they started an argument, but instead of Kevin to act appropriately, he decided to do the unthinkable. Kevin started threatening India with a gun he hid on him. He can be seen on a video which was captured by India herself saying he will shoot her. This is Kevin Dixon asking his girlfriend India Mackey why she's recording him. The two had been fighting. Pay attention to Dixon's hands. He's wiping his fingerprints off of bullets. Kevin would eventually follow through with his threats he fatally shot India in the torso. The shooting occurred around 5.30 p.m. on Tuesday, November 19th, in the area of Nine Mile and Greshet. After India was killed, Dixon pushed her body from the driver's seat to the passenger seat and sped off and started driving erratically on the streets. Shortly after the shooting, police was alerted by other driver to a car that was driving weird. Police then stopped the vehicle for driving erratically in the area of Nine Mile Road and Greshet Avenue in East Point and found India inside suffering from a gunshot wound. She was rushed to the hospital where she was pronounced dead. Developing at 11, video discovered on the phone of a Warren murder victim shows the moments leading up to her death. Tuesday night we showed you a large police scene unfolding in East Point. Well, now the cell phone video, a 20-year-old woman took moments before she was killed, is showing police exactly what happened. Mara McDonald live at the Macomb County Jail tonight. Mara, police have her boyfriend in custody. They sure do, Devin, and they've charged him with first-degree murder. And there is a reason, once you see this cell phone video, why the judge said he's going to be staying here with no bond. This is Kevin Dixon asking his girlfriend, India Mackey, why she's recording him. The two had been fighting. Pay attention to Dixon's hands. He's wiping his fingerprints off of bullets. Moments later, police say an angry Dixon fired at India, killing her while sitting in a van in his Warren driveway. Police would pull him over in East Point Tuesday night for driving erratically, her dead body next to him. 7 Action reporter Andre Isom joins us live with more on this story and what the prosecutor is saying about this tragic case. Andrea? You know, guys, we've all been doing this job for a very long time. We've seen a lot, but I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. Law enforcement, they are frustrated, they're alarmed, and we all should be. You know, everything about this case is awful, and, and, and this certainly just adds to it. Because this is what 20-year-old India Mackey saw and heard mere moments before she was murdered. You think I'm <laughs> playing, huh? Okay. You think I'm playing, huh? Hit you with those big four, five hollow tips, gonna eat your those angry, hate-filled words and despicable actions from her boyfriend, 18-year-old Kevin Dixon, police say. A young man who was supposed to love India, but this is anything but. This video is being taken by a woman who's going to be killed in moments mm -hmm. is, is unbelievable to me. The idea that he's pulling the bullet out, wiping his fingerprints off, showing it to her. And it chills you to the bone, says Macomb County Prosecuting Attorney Eric Smith, and I agree. The last thing her family has of her is the video where she is pointing the camera at the man who's going to kill her. But after he shoots her, gets out of his car, pushes her over into the passenger seat, and takes off driving in the car. Smith says India was shot inside a van outside of this home on Shirley Street in Warren. But according to cops, Dixon's criminal behavior did not end there. East Point PD gets all these calls about a white van that's, that's driving erratically over the road. They stop the car and they find her dead in the passenger seat. Dixon was arrested and is now facing first degree murder, carrying a concealed weapon and felony firearm charges. After being arrested, Kevin used India's phone to call his mother while he was riding at the back of a police car asking her to help him get rid of the murder weapon. Kevin's mother, Nikita Dixon, 42, was arrested when she showed up at his arraignment. We charge his mother as well. He takes his girlfriend's phone, the, the, this poor woman that was shot, and calls his mother on the phone and says, Mom, 
go to the house and get the gun. So we charge you with accessory after a fact and tampering with evidence. She's an accessory to the crime. I'm like, what? Exactly. Yeah, that's Chaos outside Judge John Shamura's courtroom where the arraignment was going down as Dixon's mother was arrested, charged with being an accessory to the crime. She was being held in jail on $100,000 bail. Kevin lied to the investigators that India was playing with the gun when it went off, but police later saw the video India had recorded few seconds before Kevin fatally shot her. At his first hearing, Kevin asked the judge to release him, saying he was about to start a new job. Uh, given the nature of the charges, I would respectfully request no bond. In setting bail, I do look at the seriousness of these offenses. Mr. Dixon, as Detective Vavsky indicated, these are very serious offenses, particularly the first degree murder charge, which is punishable by up to life in prison. As Detective Vavsky indicated, you do have somewhat of a criminal history, although it's not extensive. However, if these allegations are true, then you are a dangerous person and someone from whom the public needs to be protected. I'm concerned about a risk of flight. Um, not only do you have a warrant issued for your arrest, as Detective Vavsky indicated, but you're charged, as indicated, with an offense punishable by the life in prison, which gives you every reason to not come to court. Um, but for the record, do you live in Warren? Yes. Do you have a job? No. All right. So um, I actually supposed to have been starting work this week, but I haven't started yet, so I claim no job. <coughs> the judge denied Kevin's request and ordered him to be held without bail. He would end up pleading no context which would have been a 20 to 35 year sentence, but he later tried to withdraw from the deal which was not honored by the judge. As of now, his sentencing has been rescheduled to a later date. Hear our cries, oh God! Several words of prayer were shared this evening at Saginaw High School during the vigil of 20-year-old India Mackey from Saginaw. He's honor. The community came together here at the high school where she graduated to mourn and reminisce on her life. I thank God for the people, the love that's being shown. That's Mackey's mother, Sabrina, who says she was overwhelmed by all the support shown here today and hopes it raises awareness for an even bigger issue surrounding domestic violence. From here, Pontiac, all over, to come together, you know, to help with this domestic violence situation because it, it needs to stop. This love. So when we get together, when we killing each other, let's get together and stop that like this. A message reiterated by Mackey's father, Joseph Polk, pleading for those suffering from domestic abuse to speak up and go to someone rather than facing it alone. You know, let your fathers protect you. Let your uncles, your brothers, you know, let the community protect you. Go to somebody. Tell somebody. Somebody will help you. Make me feel very happy. You know, I know she was very loved, but to see everybody come together like this, it just means a lot. We hope India Mackey gets the justice she deserves very soon. Our sincere condolences to the friends and families of India Mackey. May India's memory be a blessing for her family and for all who knew her and may her life and death be an inspiration and a turning point towards justice and increased protection for domestic abuse survivors. Please stay safe out there and see you guys in the next video.